Hello everyone. In today's video, we will discuss how to use a continuous section break. Normally you want to remove them, but there are some occasions when it's a useful tool to apply. For instance, if you want multiple columns on one part of a page and just one column on the other part. So first we will just insert some text. Now let's say you want multiple columns above this paragraph. So what you will do is click on layout, it used to be page layout, pull down the breaks and then choose continuous. Now you will see that here. So then you click above the continuous section break, click on layout again and select the number of columns you would like and we'll put in two. So now you can enter text above the continuous section break. So let's use this. So right now we have two columns of text above one column of text. You can also, it's a nice design if you're going to insert graphics and you want it to flow naturally. You can, of course, change the picture layout so it will flow with the text. So let's say, let's do a tight around the image. And that's really it. I haven't come across this situation myself because I don't work in a business development or graphical department. It's just normal paragraphs, but if you are actually in need of a continuous section break, this is how this is one of the options you can use to apply it. If you have any questions, please post your question below. Thank you.